Now we'll begin reports on the hashtag bad governance protests across Nigeria, where we understand that protests have begun in some areas while some places remain quiet. Now to give us deep updates on the situation of things in the country, we have our reporters on ground scattered across the different parts of the state. And we're going to bring them shortly, starting with uh, Joshua Marai, who would be in Abuja. We also have Imano Bogudu on standby in uh, Abuja as well. We have Bennett Akede, who is alive uh, here in Lagos, as well as Igbalani uh, uh, Omoni, also uh, as on standby in Lagos. But we'll first of all, uh, move to the FCT, the capital of Nigeria, Abuja, where we have Joshua Imarai on standby. Joshua, a very good morning to you. Uh, let's hear your update. What's going on where you are at the moment? A pleasant morning to you from Abuja, Judith. Uh, we are currently at the Federal Secretariat, around the Federal Secretariat, and I'm directly um, behind, back in the, the road to the National Assembly. And as you can see, there are scores of security men, as well as military men who are positioned in clusters around the Federal Capital Territory, and particularly the city area. Uh, we are seeing a convergence of protesters. Uh, they are gaining numbers. And we hear that, that they are particularly at the stadium, where uh, is the main convenient point of the, pro of the protest in Abuja. But, however, uh, the protesters in Abuja are gathering in their numbers, and we could see them littered around um, several areas of Abuja. As you can see behind me, there's a, a, an armored tank of security men who are standing who are standing by at the main entrance of the National Assembly. Uh, this, is, uh, the basic, this is basically what we are seeing in Abuja as a security men uh, in the nook and crannies of the city centre. Joshua, if you don't mind, we'd like for the camera to be able to pan 360 so we can see the entirety of where you're standing at, um, not just uh, the ammo tank behind you, but also uh, right in front of you and by your side. So a little bit of 360 for us, for the cameraman, just to see uh, what's going on. Uh, if you're there, if you can hear me, let him do it one more time for us. Just a 360 pan of the entirety of where you are located at. That's Joshua Emarai. He is our correspondent live in front of the National Assembly in FCT Abuja, giving us updates. He said that uh, although there are some parts of Abuja where uh, protesters are scattered, uh, ready to commence, uh, commence a, a protest, which is the hashtag and bad governance, but so far where he is, uh, it seems to be quiet. We move now to Lagos, where we have Bernard Akede on standby. He's live at the Leki Toll Gate on Lagos State, which is uh, the center uh, of excellence. Uh, Bernard, a very good morning to you. Good morning, Judith. Very good morning to you. Yes. Uh, let's hear your update. Uh, so far, it looks quiet where you are at, at Lucky Toget. We understand that was one of the biggest converges at the last, the biggest protest that we know uh, for Nigeria, which is the uh, hashtag NSARS protest. A little bit of difference this time around with uh, hashtag end bad governance. What's the latest? Um, yeah, a little bit of difference. Uh, to start with, uh, if, you be move, if you've moved around Lagos this morning, you will notice that it's relatively quiet and peaceful. It's almost like it's a public holiday in Lagos. However, it's not a public holiday. There's not been any movement restriction, you know, and there's no curfew. So I think most people are just being cautious about their movement. But here at the toll gate where we are, um, so I'll, I'll start from my right so you can see, you know, what, what's going on. There's heavy security presence, um, more than usual. There's a big truck there um, by the Nigerian army, and it's been here since morning. We've been here since before 7 a.m. That truck is here. Besides the truck, all the way down, you have police vehicles with police officers, and then they've been coming in numbers, increasing at some point, you know, going back. But that's, that's you know, that's, that's how it's been so far this morning. Vehicles are not so many on the road. There's not been heavy vehicular movement and there's no you know there's no not, not so many pedestrians also moving around and we've noticed one or two people you know strangely dressed and then security operatives have accosted them i guess just to question them to know what's going on or to know who they are uh, now besides here all on this other side um where the tow gate is where vehicles are coming from um very few vehicles not many on the road on a normal working thursday morning you have this place filled with cars probably um, you know, traffic reading and all of that, but 
nothing of such happening. And then just across the road here, um, interestingly, there was a, a water cannon truck that came and it, it's still there, came with sirens blaring. Um, and then when it's eventually parked there, I, I guess just to create awareness, like some would say, or to test this equipment, it began to shoot out some water from, you know, from the cannon uh, so that we know that it's, it's heavily loaded. But besides that, nothing much of consequence, except for one interesting thing I would mention. At some point, we saw some vehicles, private vehicles, two commercial buses, and I think four or five SUVs that drove down this way and parked further in front. And then the gentlemen who came out of those vehicles were dressed in um, uni uniforms that carried uh, the, the, the title NURTW, that's the National Union of Road Transport Workers. What their mission was here, we're not sure, um, but they parked the vehicles here, they came down, they converged somewhere across the road, spoke for a couple of minutes and then went back into their vehicle and drove off almost like they were monitoring the situation here whether they are pro-protest or anti-protest we couldn't tell uh, they were here for quite a few minutes and then they go back into the vehicles and drove off that's that's pretty much all that has been happening here from your submission what was very interesting about that was that they saw persons who were dressed in a certain way and accosted them and proceeded to question them can you give us more updates on on, on that And well, nothing, it, it wasn't anything serious. Uh, maybe say like one or two persons, uh, one person who was, um, uh, I think, just wearing a pair of shorts and looking questionable. So, of course, security operatives not taking any chances, just calling the gentleman and asking, okay, who are you? What's, what's going on? I always believe that those are the kind of questions they ask. And then another gentleman who was on dreadlocks, wearing a pair of shorts and a t shirt, the same thing. I think just anybody who looks suspicious who is passing here today will be questioned, basically, um, as to what your mission or what their mission is um, in and around this vicinity. But nothing serious, nothing of consequence, and nothing major has happened here since about 7 a.m. or before 7 a.m. that we've been here so far. It's very interesting that wearing shorts and having dreadlocks as a hairstyle is, uh, is a questionable, it, it poses you as a questionable character, but man, and many thanks. We appreciate you. We'll come back to you uh, for more updates. And that was Ben Adakadi. We'll bring you more reports uh, from our correspondent as they are scattered around the entirety of Nigeria, uh, giving the hashtag #NBadGovernance, which is supposed to kickstart today. Move now to the city of Jos in Plateau State, as it is quiet and calm, with very few vehicular and uh, human movement. Now, protesters are building up for a supposed protest march. However, sister security agencies are on the ground to ensure there is no breakdown of law and order. The weather is calm as there is no sign of rain, and the only thing that may disperse the dis uh, the protesters. Now, New Central's Chizoba Anyongwe, who is in Jos, reports that protesters who have gathered at the Secretariat roundabout, the venue for takeoff for the protests, say nothing would deter them from the planner protests against bad governance and general hardship in Nigeria. Still on the hunger protest, Amnesty International has called on the Nigerian authorities to uphold human rights and respect the right to peaceful protest as Nigerians commence, commence nationwide protests over food shortages and the cost of leaving crisis. The country director, Amnesty International, Isa Sanusi, disclosed this in a statement on Thursday and warned that the authorities must not use the protest as a pretext to crack down on human rights, including the rights to freedom of expression and peaceful assembly. And now we continue with our, our update and broadcast on the hashtag and bad governance protests. And we put you up now to Delta State where we have our correspondent uh, Austin Azu live. Austin, a very good morning to you from uh, Delta. Uh, let's hear your update. What's going on where you are at? It seems to be a bit busy from uh, the views behind you there. Uh, first and foremost, uh, this is uh, where they propose to have taken off this morning for the protest. But currently, around this place, this place is currently at the Interbar roundabout. It connects uh, several roads. 
the lakes to down to Nebisi Road and to my right hand side to Okmanam Road. Of course, you can see the police and the Nigeria uh, military stationed at this particular place. Obviously, this is where the NSAS protesters uh, 2020 had their stake off points before they proceeded to other areas. But as, as, this, uh, as at, and now, nobody can actually gain entrance into this place. Earlier on, we went to the Koka roundabout where they designated that they are going to take place from because they have various segments. However, we equally saw the heavy presence of armed security personnel equally on the ground. And not only that, we equally went to the airport where they proposed to have taken place from there. As well, the military and the police have already taken over that area. At this point in time, it seems that uh, the protesters who ought to be out by now, they are not out at the moment because the security agencies have taken over the areas they were supposed to converge and take off from. Indeed, it seems to be the same for the other states, Abuja, the capital, and Lagos as well, uh, the commercial hub of Nigeria. It seems to be the same uh, with movement. But tell me about, about the, the mood of the people. Are people going about their business? Are businesses opening? Are uh, offices opening? What's it like in, 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 in Delta? Yes, due to the information that went out some days ago about uh, the slated protest for today, uh, most of those uh, offices uh, couldn't open. But as we are passing by, we saw some skeletal services. Uh, the door was half closed. And uh, it perceived some people were still hanging around their offices, uh, looking forward to see how possible it could be for them to go to their offices. But most interestingly, the vehicular movement here seems to be more you know, relaxed because behind me you can see some tricycle moving up and down. They are still, more, they are still going about their normal businesses. But however, uh, the market was, was, was not closed down totally, but uh, it was not open fully for anyone to gain entrance. However, most of their concerns remain the fact that they don't know the state of things, how things might likely turn up to be. So obviously they were just hanging around probably from now to 12 or to 1 p.m. that uh, probably they might be able to see what might likely going to happen, in the, you know, and and I've seen what has happened, probably they may, not, they may not go into their various uh, place of work to go and commence their daily work. Hmm. Well, Austin, we'll definitely come back to you if there's more update, but thank you so much for that uh, insightful one. Appreciate you. We'll switch gears now to River State concerning the hashtag and bad governance. Earlier, River State Governor Simon Elia Fubara has declared that there is credible information that some mercenaries and thugs have been hired in the guise of protests to destroy valuable infrastructure assets in the state. The governor maintained that this is in spite of the fact that River's res residents have already resolved not to participate in the planned 10 days of nationwide protests scheduled to begin on August 1st. News Central's correspondent Austin Azu brought us details. Take a look. With less than 24 hours to the planned nationwide protest against hunger and bad governance, governors across Nigeria have been meeting with various stakeholders on how best to manage the proposed protest. The governor of River State, Similari Fubara, met with the representatives of the civil society organizations, stakeholders of the National Association of Nigeria Students, River State Ethnic Youth Groups, Potakot Mutospe Parts Dealers Union, Ikoku Branch, and the Backward Hall of Government House in Port Harcourt. Addressing the various groups, the governor insisted that several public and clandestine activities of the self styled distractors over the last months are clear indications that River State does have unrepentant enemies who do everything possible within their midst to destabilize the state. Governor Fubara acknowledged the prevailing economic hardship that Nigerians are facing, but quickly added that the federal government under President Bola Tunwu is taking believable actions that are geared towards addressing the current hardship and securing better future for the people. Governor Fubara also pointed to steps his administration has taken to meet the expectations and address challenges of rivers residents while also supporting what the federal government is doing. We don't need to allow the plan of those distractors to surface. I'm aware they're already bringing people from the neighboring states to come and cause problems. 
please, we need to resist them. We need not to be part of anything. I'll switch gears now to Borno State on terrorism attack as a fresh attack has been recorded in the state, which is uh, Borno State, northeast Nigeria, as explosive device was reported to have killed at least 19 people and injured 15 at a local tea joint in Kanuri. More details as we have our correspondent Umara, uh, Umaru Kirawa on standby. Umaru, a very good morning to you and completely sad news to be hearing uh, today. Uh, give us update. What's the latest on, on this attack? Yes, the latest is uh, people are protesting now in Meduguri, the Borno State capital, and uh, you've had the sound of, um, is it gunshot or something like that? Just they keep blowing it now. And um, uh, this is the situation, but uh, with regard to the attack um, in... One person, one person is down. Wait, wait, one, wait. one person is down. Are we, are we one person is down. Is this in regard to the protest? Yes, 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 yes. One person, one person, one person. Are they shooting I'll, I'll at people? You, yes. Yes. Umar, where are you I'll, at the I'll, moment? Can you give us... Can you give us an update as to where you are at the moment? Yes, and yes. right now I am at uh, Bulungkutu area and uh, Bulungkutu Kasua area and people are just running, shouting that uh, um, they, need, they, need, they, need, they need improvement and um, they need a lot of things from the government. And we are just hearing the sound of, uh, um, is it explosive or gunshot? I don't know. Uh, one person just... Uh, Umaru, I will need you to watch your back. Umaru, I will need you to watch your back and take cover right now. There are people behind you running. Umaru Kirawa, we're going to come back to you. We need you to take cover and find somewhere safe to give us your update. Please, thank you. Now, was Umaru Kirawa with some very brave reports. We'll bring you more after this break. Stay with us. We'll begin with more updates on the hashtag and bad governance uh, protests that have kick-started from our understanding. We currently have our uh, correspondent, Ni uh, Omoni, who is live at Ikeja, Lagos State. Uh, Ni, a very good morning to you. I understand uh, the scenes we're watching there is the protest that is starting uh, at Ikeja. Uh, Ni, what's your update so far? Nee, can you hear me? Uh, we seem to be losing his audio there, but if you can see the visuals on there, those are uh, protests that are kick-started uh, right there at Ikeja, uh, which is, of course, uh, in Lagos. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Nee, loud and clear. Me, I can hear you. Please go ahead. Okay, so if you can see behind me, we have a mammoth of crowd here um, chanting, ch chanting end bad government. And you can see police, NSCDC, um, N N NSC trying to protect them and guard them. I'll try to move closer to them so we can get some of the agitations. If you can hear me, can you, uh, me, if you can hear me, we need to know where you are at at the moment and where they are headed to. Okay, so they are. Okay, so we are at um, Ikeja. We are currently at Allen Roundabout, and they are heading to Alausa, Ikeja, um, from here. But it seems there's some sort of a disorganization, and they are trying to ensure that everyone is behind the banner before they can proceed with their work. I have here uh, one of the organizers of the protest. Let me just quickly see if I can get his comment on 
Sorry, please, sir, where are we going to? Ojota. Ojota. Yes, Ojota Freedom Park. Okay. Uh, the state has said we shouldn't come, but we are coming. Yes. So, the mass of our people are already there. All right, thank you. Asking for. Well, it's simple. The ultimate thing we want is this government, like you can see, our people are chanting, and bad governors. Uh, the cost of living in this country has gone up, and most of our people are tired of this reality. And the rate of inflation in this country has gone up. Actually, we have been told that the total wealth of three Nigerians will solve the crisis of poverty in this country. What that really means is that we are living at a time where there's a huge state of disparity, and this government is not interested in fixing you know, the economy. And we are saying, this government has the time to do so because when the whole problem started in Kenya, the youth were sending money warnings to the president. But the president wasn't taking the youth seriously. But now we know that Kenya will never be the same again because the Kenyans, the Kenyan youth, have forced the government, you know, to succumb to their demands. This government will face that same backlash if nothing is done with respect to the question of the economy. Economic crisis is a reality, and it is a reality because we have a borrowing government. We have a borrowing government, those that borrow from IMF and World Bank, they know nothing other than to borrow. They borrow and they steal and they hit our money. And they put us in poverty. They put us in penury. We cannot tell this anymore. One of the biggest fears of this protest was um, violence. And we can see police try to support. What do you think? Go back to the history of protests in this country. Instances where we had violence. We instances where you know, it's, it's, it, they are being propelled by the government. The government is the number one criminals. Uh, the government are the ones that propelled violence. Violence. Doing answers. Let us say government have to organize BRT buses for talks. BRT buses for talks. There are evidences. We are not law breaking people. We are not law breaking people. We respect, we are respecters of the law. But the government had always been the propellant of violence. If there's going to be a violence today, it is going to be the government. What particular movement are you representing? What's your name? What particular movement are you representing? An African Cautiousness Renaissance. And my name is Mabel Rufagua. Thank you. Uh, so you heard it from one of the organizers of the protesters. The agitations are clear, and they are saying, irrespective of the fact, they appreciate the fact that the police is here. But irrespective of the fact that they are here, it won't stop the people who might want to hijack the process, knowing that there are other intentions in this. Well, from here, as they are gathered, they are heading to Ojota from here. It's, a, quite, it's quite a long stretch from here, I can tell you, because they've been asked not to stay at a particular position. But if you just look around, I want to give you a view of what you can see around here. This is Allen junction. It's almost like a T-junction and it's quite huge. Um, motorists are stuck behind uh, motorists are stuck behind the protesters there and all around we can see uh, officers of um, different uh, um, security units here and trying to protect and ensure that the protesters follow the guidelines that have been laid down to them by the police. Well, Nini, Nini, many thanks. We appreciate you for doing this with us. We'll continue with you. But now we switch gears to Plateau State, where we have Chizoba and Nyongwe on standby to give us an update there on the hashtag and bad governance uh, protests in the state. Chizoba, if you can hear me, a very good morning to you. Chizoba, are you there? Yes. I am here. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Uh, please, your update okay. on, on the latest with uh, Plateau State, just precisely where you're at. Uh, well, uh, if you can see behind me, the protesters are already here. We've taken a walk from the start-off point, which is the popular uh, secretariat roundabout in Jaws, and it's about um, five kilometers work that the protesters, and of course all of us have done this morning, and they have said that nothing will stop them from um, exercising their civic rights. So you can see behind me, the leader, that is um, Prophet Isa El Buba, is already addressing the protesters on the essence of this exercise. Fantastic. Uh, but so far, were you able to speak with any other protesters, the organizers, the leaders? Did you speak to anyone there? Well, I did, but all of them, none of them actually wanted to come on the camera. So they spoke off camera saying that what they are trying to do is to tell governments that what they have been dishing out to the masses hasn't been uh, acceptable. So they are not happy, and that is why they have taken out their time to come out to tell governments and everyone that gets to know that they are not happy with the governance in Nigeria. They are not happy with the economic hardship. People find it difficult to eat. 
Some of them are barely eating like three times a day. Some of them just once in a day. So many people are sick. They don't even have money to buy the drugs for medication and all those. So these are some of the reasons they have said they are crying out to the government for. And they hope that after this, there will be a change in governance in Nigeria. However, it's been a peaceful exercise. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me any of the security uh, personnel, because we have all of them from the sister security agencies. Uh, both from the Nigerian army, the Nigeria police, and other uh, security agencies, they're on the ground to ensure that I oh, seem to have lost Chizo back there. We switch gears now to Borno State, where we have Umaru Kirawa on standby. Umaru, well done, and uh, are you safe at the moment? I think we've lost his visuals there. Uh, Umaru, are you there? We'll try to connect with him. In the meantime, let's go on a short break. Stay with us. As promised, we'll bring you an update from Borno. We have Umaru Kirawa on standby, who's with the PRO for police, uh, the police force in uh, Borno State. Uh, Umaru, can you hear us? Yes, if you can hear me now, the situation is relatively calm now. And um, here with me is the police PPRO, Nasum Tenet. So who will tell us more with that to happen? In yeah. So um, what is it like? Tell us the situation in the Republic of Bonos State Capital. Well, good morning. Um, so earlier today, we have this incident. Uh, normalcy was in the town, not to some uh, amount of youth who came down to, uh, to constitute themselves to cause nuisance, taking advantage of the planned protest. Um, what they did is that they started blocking major routes within the community, within the uh, community here in Maiduguri. So the security forces were trying to calm down the situation. We're able to contain with what we are having. We say we are going to. We heard of people coming out to say they are going to have a peaceful protest. But what we are witnessing here in Maiduguri, like we gave a warning, any warning sign or threats of what we can see be happening, or may deter from what the said protest. We seem to be losing audio there with uh, the PPRO there of the police in uh, uh, Meiduguri, Bornu, where we have our correspondent Umaru Kirawa on standby. Uh, he said that earlier from his submission there that what he see, what is going on is not exactly a, a peaceful protest there in Meiduguri. But we'll give you more details Sir. as of now, as is a bit sketchy. We switch gears now to Plateau, uh, Jos, the capital of Plateau State, North Central Nigeria, where we have our correspondent uh, Chizo Anyway, uh, uh, well done. Uh, give us uh, what's your latest update so far? Okay, sorry, like I was saying earlier on, the protesters are here already on the ground, and presently we are at the popular um, old airport roundabout where the protesters have gathered, and the leader of the protest, the leader of this exercise, is already addressing them. And from what he said off camera earlier on, before we took off from the Secretary roundabout, he said that governance in Nigeria is not an acceptable word. It is very, very difficult for people to feed, to pay school. And we seem to be losing our audio there. Chizo Banyo, we're our correspondent from uh, Jos, the capital of Plateau State, North Central Nigeria. We'll bring you more updates from her. It's all about the hashtag end bad governance protest as a kickstart today, August 1st, uh, scattered across the main cities and the major cities in Nigeria. And that, now we switch gears back to Ni Omoni as the protest is beginning to uh, 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 build uh, there. Earlier, he was in a care the Allen Avenue roundabout. Uh, uh, Ni, what's the latest? As we try to get me, as you can see from the visuals there, Nigerians and bystanders are just standing by, uh, calling for end to bad governance there. As you can see them agitating for a change uh, in the standard of living in Nigeria. And also earlier when we had him, we saw him speak to one of the leaders of the protest in Ikeja there. And he said that uh, this was the, the protest in Kenya was a catalyst to what we see here in Nigeria and that 
change must come and we must have change. Scenes that you're seeing is from the Lekki Talk. It seems to be quiet. Now, Lekki Talk, it was uh, quite a catalyst and a very huge point uh, during the last protest. That's the hashtag NSAS protest. But Lekki is quiet indeed. We we'll switch gears now to Abuja. The woman on the screen there is from the capital, Abuja. Uh, and she is crying there. We're going to protest, this protest. They don't they shoot. See, I can see anyhow. Look at this guy. Why? 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 This year, God is for what? I'm from drama six. Imagine. My husband is from Casina. All of our citizens. They don't allow us. Look at the baby. I love it now. Are the police are not in this country? The army, I don't know in this country. I don't know them. I don't know what they are doing to this country. We are hungry. We are hungry. We cannot take it anymore. Come, 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 What are we doing? On a peaceful project, no need to go away. This is the same problem. On a peaceful process, look at tear gas. What are we doing? And we have talked to them. Nobody is holding gun. Nobody is carrying any, you know, ammunition. Why? Why tear gas? You don't want to kill us? Oh boy, here we die, all of us. Something will happen. I think police will kill everybody. Police will kill everybody. The army will kill everybody. Uh, well, as you can see, the protesters are agitated because of one particular action by security operatives. The protesters who were uh, approaching uh, around the Eagle Square from the, the Federal Secretariat were ambushed by security men who threw two particular canisters of tear gas at them. This enraged the protesters and they are basically angry and they are voicing out now. Among the protesters, you have a, a, a nursing mother who brought her child to the protesting ground and she is angry that she's voicing out her, her anger that her husband was killed and uh, we kind of not, uh, we don't have uh, uh, this, uh, the details of uh, what really happened to her husband, but she's actually here. Uh, with me here is the baby. Come, 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 come. Bring the baby and the mother. Come, now, come, make a show. Not the baby. It's a pity. Nigeria is a joke. Nigeria is a joke. Madam, uh, you were saying your husband was, was killed. Yes. Uh, can you give, give us a, a, a brief detail of how that happened? And was he killed in a protest? Yes. Come, enough of the talking, you know. We need people to come out. Come out. Come out. We need your number. I need the people, let them come out from this protest. Because I'm not. My husband is from Castina State. My own family, they are from Taraba State. I not seeing my family husband now because of this problem where we have for Nigeria. Look at my child now. We come to protest. Just they don't do shit and tear gas anyhow. And this innocent child where she don't know anything. We have not done anything. We cannot see him. Yes. What happened to him? Just they don't kill him. Nothing happened. Where was he killed? Katsina. What happened? How was it killed? Abandoned for bush, for, uh, for, uh, for a farm. So your husband was a farmer? Yes. Before he, he died? Yes. Oh, oh. That is the reason why you are here to voice out? Yes, sir. Okay, now. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. No, don't tell your name. Don't tell your name. Don't tell your name. We have done our own part. Why are you asking? Why are you asking our name? No. Why are you asking our name? Uh, Only for us to ask. You don't have to ask our name. Only for us to ask.
And the scenes you see there are from the capital, Abuja, in uh, Abuja, Lagos, Nigeria, or rather Abuja, uh, the capital of Nigeria, where you have uh, Joshua Amarayi speaking to agitated protesters who are crying and asking that the tear gassing from security agencies stop as they are peaceful protesters. And they, they are not armed, as you can see from the videos there. They are not armed. They are carrying nothing. And you see a mother there with her uh, infant baby who is protesting and said that her husband was killed in the farm, which most likely could most likely have been uh, from unknown gunmen attacks. Uh, as we know that food insecurity has been a challenging and trying times uh, for farmers who go to their farms and end up dead. Now, she also called for a change and said that her family, her husband's family, has abandoned her uh, due to the economic challenges that they also are facing. And she wants people to come out and protest. We'll bring you more scenes from Abu Abuja, but we squeeze switch gears now uh, to uh, Alausa Ikeja, Lagos, which is a commercial capital of Nigeria. Alausa is where you have the government houses uh, from the uh, governor's office all the way down to all the ministries uh, situated in Alausa Ikeja. Now the protest has kick started, as you can see the crowd from the aerial view there at Alausa Ikeja, and they have said that they are marching all the way to Ijota, asking, uh, asking for an end uh, to bad governance and asking for a change in the economic uh, situation in the country. And now the scenes that are coming up there on your screen there, uh, you can see them uh, marching there. We have Ni who is covering that live in Lagos. Uh, they are marching, although the crowd isn't as a... Uh, 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 as a, a crowded as you'd expected or filled with people but it's to be expected because of the heavy security that we have seen across we've seen across the country especially here in Lagos State as you see the aerial uh, views moving down there you can see uh, cars uh, are stationary also from all of our reporters that we have a correspondent scattered around uh, Nigeria they have said that they also seen armor tanks uh, water cannon tanks as well and the uh, heavy security presence are scattered across uh, the state. We have Ni, Agba, uh, Ni Omoni, who is on standby, covering, uh, giving us more updates from Ikeja. Ni, are you there? We seem to have lost him. The scenes there that you're seeing there is, uh, you can see those ammo, you can see those pickup trucks there uh, at the aerial view there. Those trucks that you are seeing uh, of security presence. Now we have to note here that security is heavy. Uh, we have seen very heavy security scattered across the major parts of the city from Lekki to Ikeja all the way down to every major points in, uh, in Lagos State. Now, the scenes that you're seeing on the screen there is uh, Lekki. Uh, Lekki Toll Gate is known to be one of the uh, major points and also major uh, 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 contention there from the last uh, protest. That's a ha hashtag NSARS protest. And so to that effect, the security agency there and the security uh, personnel that are there plus the machinery is heavy uh, on like never before. We also have Bennett Ak there on standby and we're going to bring you more details as it unfolds we'll try to make connection uh, with our uh, protesters or rather with our correspondent but what the scene now on the screen there is from Delta State where we have our correspondent uh, uh, Austin Azu those scenes there is uh, from Delta State Austin Azu is on standby Austin uh, if you can hear me Austin, Austin, if you can hear me, I can see two persons with a placard behind you. What's the latest? What's going on? Okay, first and foremost, uh, like the update we provided earlier on, uh, we just came back to this particular spot where we have the update, and uh, we met two persons who actually defied all odds, and they are currently here at Interboa. Let me uh, speak to them to know why they are here. Okay, let's meet you. Your name, please. My name is Mr. Chris. I'm Chris today. Okay, why are you here now? We are here because today is supposed to be a protest and we are doing the protest. We, are, we came to uh, pour out our mind to our government. They say we need a good government with a better electoral form so that Nigeria can be a better place. We are not uh, here for a bad uh, motive. We are here to express as a Nigerian how things are going. There is hunger everywhere. There is hunger. We are speaking from the mindset of um, 
are of, of other people. Like, like there are some people who don't have, uh, they don't have helpers, they don't have money, they don't have anything. And things are going up every day. These are going up every day. Why uh, we are here to do a free, peaceful protest. We are not here to disrupt our government property. We are here to set our mind. There is hunger everywhere. And this is as a result of bad government. So our government does not have us at heart. That is why we are here. Okay. Thank you. Okay, but uh, some other persons were scared because of the presence of the security men. The security men, they are not doing us anything. Look at a, a military officer behind us. The security are there to watch over us. They are not there to kill us. They, they, are, they are also a fellow citizen. They are, they are, their children are also like us. They have children all over the world. They are still hungry. They, are, they have children like us. So they don't have uh, any bad intention. We have met with the police security. They say they don't have anything against us. As, so, as long as we are doing it a peaceful protest. So if you are to your home, you don't want to exercise your uh, franchise as a citizen of Nigeria. Sitting at home, it won't change the matter. Saying it in the house will not change the matter. Let us come as a team in a peaceful protest and say to the government, no to their evil plans. Thank you. Okay, your name again. My name is Chris. Okay. Uh, so let's meet you. Your name is... Yeah, my name is Uyoko Lawrence. Yeah. My name is Uyoko Lawrence, a.k.a. Larry. I'm from Okwani, local government area of Delta State. We are here anyway. I am here personally because of the protests, as I agreed. But to my own surprise, I found out that uh, nothing is happening here, though the security men are here. Like what uh, somebody told me on my way here, he said, uh, police are everywhere in uh, Interbao. I said, the police are there to protect the protesters. Yes. So that is why I came, at least to tell Nigerians that the government of today is not, it's not, Nigeria is not working. It's not working in any way. And what is the cause? Because of our electoral reform. The electoral system is bad. That is what is producing the bad leaders that lead to corruption. Every offices in this country, you hear, you hear, you hear corruption, corruption everywhere. So that is why we are here to exercise our, 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 our franchise. Okay, all right, you have heard it from both of them who actually defy all odds to be here this morning to begin the, pro the, the protest here in Asaba. So as that goes by, probably we might see some other persons who might see come out to as, you know, exercise a franchise over this uh, end bad governance uh, protest across Nigeria. Austin, many thanks. We appreciate you for doing this. We'll come back to you for more updates there from Delta State. Uh, now we bring you visuals from Abuja, which is the capital of uh, Nigeria. As you can see, visuals there that's coming up on the screen. Protesters flying the Nigerian flag. Uh, of course, we'll bring you the audio, but as you can see, uh, earlier on, when we, when we patched you to our correspondent, Joshua Emarai, we saw the, the protester there agitated, saying that they had... They had uh, been tear gassed and they have no arms and they have no weapons with them and they are there to protest peacefully. As you can see more uh, on that there now, they are more agitated to see your agitations. We do not know uh, more on that, but as you can see, those are the visuals uh, from Abuja, uh, the capital of Nigeria. These scenes as a regard to the hashtag and bad governance protest, which is now a nationwide demonstration and is begun in Nigeria, August 1st, all the way to August 10th. Yes. <laughs> 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 
Okay. Eh? Nah, yeah. And yeah. Now. we, people like me, we not said. Who is on you? Do you understand? Okay. And we never said that you don't do protest. Yes, yes, yes. You yes. should be. Okay. No, no, wait. No. Not like I want you. to listen to him. See, let me tell you. He has a total of motive. What we are saying? I want that. to know. He has to be careful. And those are scenes there from Abuja, the capital of uh, Nigeria. Agitated protesters earlier uh, called and said that uh, they were tear gassed as they were demonstrating peacefully. As you can see, they have no weapons or anything with them and they just want to protest against uh, the end or rather uh, against uh, bad governance and they call for an end uh, to the economic situation that they have found themselves in Nigeria. As you can see, those scenes there from the capital, Abuja. Now, the Coverage on the hashtag uh, and bad governance will continue here on News Central TV. We'll bring you more scenes scattered across the nation from Joss to Meiduguri, Bornu, uh, to Ikeja, Lagos State, to Abuja, and also to Delta, as well as the other parts, major cities and states in Nigeria. Remember that you can send us your eyewitness report to the WhatsApp number now showing on the screen. And while you're at it, if you find anything or see anything, make sure to follow us on social media. We are at News Central TV. And you can also watch and follow this uh, broadcast update live on DSTV Channel 422, Star Times Channel 274, Avo TV, and we are streaming live on YouTube. Many thanks for watching. I'm Judith, a TV. Good morning.